Hello, everybody. Here we are again. We try and do some cleaning, get some stuff knocked out, get some stuff took care of. We have had a mess of stuff. I decided to peel with this a little bit, y'all. This is Mr. Fisher's. Uh, he done some work on it, got her, and it got her rebuilt and stuff, and couldn't get it to run, and he sent it to me. And uh, I already had it running. I think I found the problem, but I ain't found the problem yet. It's flooding. Uh, it come in, I cleaned it out, made sure it had spark, it did. I shot a little gas down the pipe, pulled the rope, it fired up and run. Uh, poured gas in it, and it run out the carburetor just as fast as I could pour it in the daggum motor just about. So I think we got a carb problem. So uh, I started pulling the carb off, and I said, well, I better stop and turn the camera on, film it so y'all can see this. So uh, without further ado, we're going to try to, to uh, see if we can't get something going right quick here. And I don't know, I don't know what we got here on the fuel lines, if fuel lines on backwards or what. That should be the inlet. That might be part of the problem there. Fuel lines might be on the backwards, Chuck. Well, that few lines fell right off there. Okie dokie. We got few lines falling off, so uh, looks like we're going to just go in here and just do the whole thing right quick. So we don't want no more issues. We don't want no more issues. We don't like issues. Not when we're finished anyway. Issues in the beginning ain't so bad. Issues at the end ain't no fun. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? I told you that, didn't I? Oh, mercy. Well, my fingers wasn't so daggone big. Well, come off, are you sorry, Rafa? Looks like everything is in the way. You mean to tell me the carburetor won't come off here? Oh, I think it will. Well, there's Andrew. There's Andrew. Working on something today. Working on something. I got, got her going on. Gosh, no. He said he wanted that imported. Well, he said he wanted to get running. That's the main thing. What do you say? What's up, buddy? How you doing? You doing all right, you? I'm doing okay, you? Oh, can't complain. Not doing any good. Yeah. <laughs> we just trying to get this thing here. I, uh, I fired it up on, on Prime and it runs. And I went toward gas it and it was running out just as fast as it went in. Oh, hell. That's what I said. So. Uh, Dock room stuff? I don't, well, I don't know whether it's that fuel line's on wrong or what. Mike was a hollering on the video, so I said, well, I'll throw the camera on right quick. Oh. And, uh, I believe, I believe we found some issues here, old buddy. I think those plates was in the carburetor upside down. That might have been. Yeah. Oh, I got your carburetor finished for your 455. 
just laying right there. That looks pretty good. Now why does that not do it? Wait a minute. Oh, look here. West plugs blowing plumb out of the carburetor. Yeah, that's. We got a few problems here, carburetor wise. <clears throat> the uh, West plugs blowing plumb out of the carburetor. Somebody's trying to fumigate me today. Yeah. You're trying to give us all cancer. I ain't worried about the cancer. <laughs> just being able to breathe for it. Yeah. That oxygen is some good stuff, ain't it? <laughs> you know, every once in a while. <laughs> These small doses. <laughs> Look, the West plug fell out of the carburetor. Hmm. We're going to. It doesn't look like it was set. <clears throat> it don't look like it was set in there very well. Let me see if I can get her strut out here. Yeah. Maybe. It's always fun. I'm not the biggest fan of these West plugs. <clears throat> they can be a royal pain in the birchkey. We're going to see if we can set it in here, though. Oh, mercy. Yep. That West plug is not in the hole like it should be. But we're going to see if this will take care of it. If not, I may have one of these carburetors running around here somewhere. We may have to replace the carburetor. A lot of times, I don't like taking them keyhole shaped West plugs out they do not do a good job going back in they got a machine that sets them and we don't we just have to hit them with whatever we can find to hit them with and sort of set them should have started that screw back in there before I done all the rest of that but well you know how it is go for a little challenge without a little challenge <laughs> what's a little challenge without a little challenge
setting the height on a see that little Welsh plug right there that thing was out you gotta put them in there and then you gotta stamp them down they can be a right pain in the birchki But hopefully this will take care of it. These things can be, they can be troublesome. Especially if you take the Welsh plugs out. If you don't need to take the plugs out, don't take them out. I always tell everybody, clean your carburetor. Put the new stuff in it. Try it. And if it ain't right after that, then you might veer into the Welsh plugs, but don't never take them things out. Don't never take them out unless it needs it. I've cleaned some pretty bad looking carburetors by just cleaning them and never put a Welsh plug in them. So, as people say, you gotta, you got to do it to make it right, that's not 100% the case. I know a lot of people swear up and down, you got to replace them Welsh plugs. You got to replace them, you got to replace them, you got to clean underneath them. Well, I'm telling you 100%, you do not have to clean underneath them unless they need it. You, you you take them west plugs out, you opening up a can of worms, you sometimes can't get closed by. That's just the way it is. That's a little more better. We'll try that in a minute if we can get the fuel lines back on. Well, the fuel lines fell off the primer bubble. I swear I don't believe them lines is on the right way. Pull the vacuum on that one. That ought to be the fuel line. These things out right here. Sometimes it's just one of them things. There we go. Why in the world the big one and the little one are switched? I do not know. 
but I do know that that one should be the one put to the the farthest one is returning. That's the return. This is the inlet. So it should go up here to the top of the car better. And why in the world the line is so small, I don't know. Almost like they got them. They're just pushing gas on us. Let's switch them around, see what happens. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be. You never can tell. Some of these things are really weird the way they got them. The way they got them. Well, that don't work. Oh, mercy. I don't know, buddy. We might have to, I might have to stop and do some looking on these fuel lines. See which way they're going. Because if you put them on that way, it doesn't work right. This is the fuel line. So I know that that should go to that one. Cause that's the one that goes up into the diaphragm and the inlet and this one well if you put it there it draws a vacuum on it which pulls gas through and pushes it back into the tank it should work the only thing is it blows gas over into the neck of the carburetor which it should not do but that doesn't mean that the carburetor is right we might we might fire it up and see what happens. I may wind up having to get a carburetor for this thing. I know there's west plugs. Whenever they're not in there just right, sometimes it weeps gas out. I think it's cranking on now. I might be wrong, but we're going to find out. Might be wrong, but we're going to find out.
It was pouring gas a minute ago. We're gonna dump a little bit of gas in it out. Pour a little bit more back in it and see if it runs out this time. Yeah, we know it ain't flooded. Let's see what happens. about that carburetor yet. Do. I'm gonna stop this and I'll shoot a quick one up there for you. Y'all have a good day. Bell Hopper Rifle.